Hi everybody, Randy with Rashley's Border Q, and today we're going to continue our series of fish, which we're going to do through Lent, uh, at the end of Lent, through Easter, and today we're going to be cooking some halibut. We're going to prepare it basically the same way we prepared it last week. We're going to marinate it in olive oil and lemon juice. I'm going to leave the Italian herbs out this time. Pat it dry. Spice it up with some chupacabra. MSG free chupacabra, I might say. And then we're going to grill it outside on the Napoleon Pro 500 gas grill, just like we did last week. This way we'll be able to compare it in an apples to apples atmosphere so we can get a taste of the different spices. Y'all come on back and we're going to throw it on the Napoleon Pro 500 outside and get started. In the bowl here, we've got a half and half mix, one part lemon juice, one part olive oil. Just give it a quick whisk, bring it all together. Then we're going to drop our fish in this Ziploc bag, pour our mixture in, stick it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Real good. Get some of the air out of it so that lemon juice and olive oil can get on all the fish. There we go. We're going to drop it in the fridge for about 30 minutes while we heat the grill up outside. It's been about 30 minutes. I pulled the fish out of the refrigerator. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the cutting board here and pat it dry. The grill's outside. Got it on high, heating up. Stay with us. On this cook, our seasoning is going to be the MSG free chupacabra rub. Original flavor without the MSG. I love chupacabra. This stuff smells so good. Got this one piece kind of falling apart. I have to be careful with it. There we go. I'll go check on the grill and chupacabra. Good stuff. Made right here in Texas. As I mentioned, we're going to be cooking on the Napoleon Gas Grill Prestige Series Pro 500. Really good grill. I've I really enjoyed using it. Got it warming up about 550 right now. We're almost up to temperature, but I'm going to give the grates a little more time to warm up also. Let it all get equal temp inside. And we're going to throw the fish on and it'll only take about eight Eight, nine minutes, it'll be done. We're gonna take a paper towel, got some grapeseed oil, good high heat oil, high flash point. Just wipe down the grates with it. And we're ready to put some fish on the grill. All right. We'll let it go four minutes on that side and flip it. Grill's running about 600, 650 degrees. It's been three and a half minutes, so about 30, 30 seconds or so, we're gonna go ahead and flip it. The spatula I'm gonna be using here tonight is the Butchula Manuel Pruneda, right here in the state of Texas. Makes these, fine small businessman. These things are handcrafted. He makes each one by hand. And they're really nice. I've been using this one for almost a year now. I'm going to be giving away a butchula and I'll put a link to my video. I'll put a link up here and I'll put a link down in the description box. Click show more down below and you can see the link to that video. Go to that video, comment or uh, comment and subscribe to my channel and you'll be entered to win the butchula. It's not going to be exactly like this one because it's going to be a limited edition, one of only 10 he's making. It's going to have the Texas Star here, and he's offered to engrave it with the logo and or text of your choice. So it's going to be a one of a kind, none like it in the United States of America, made just for you. Click, go over there, and enter. Appreciate it. What do we got here? Four minutes. Let's go ahead and flip. Oh, 
that one's almost done. We're probably not going to need four minutes on the other side and we're going to pick it up. We'll be back in just a few minutes to check it. Been about seven minutes. Let's go ahead and pick it up. Yeah, this butchula is definitely overkill for what we're doing here, but whenever you slide this thing under a big old pork butt or a big brisket, it's big enough to help you flip it without tearing it apart or whatever you want to do, pick it up, take it off the grill. Awesome tool. There we have it. Halibut marinated in lemon juice and olive oil, about 30 minutes. Seasoned with chupacabra rub, and then cooked for seven minutes total. Four minutes on the original side, flipped it, went for three. It was actually almost cooked at four minutes. So I think next time we're gonna try three minutes, flip it three minutes for six minutes total cook time. We're running at about 650 degrees on the grill. Let's take it inside and try it out. Chupacabra halibut. All right, you guys, I've recapped the recipe a few times. Not gonna do that again. Chupacabra, I've already taken a quick taste test. This stuff is just awesome on fish. With the lemon juice I had on there, the marinade, oh, it all comes together and just, <laughs> it's so good. It's got nice grill marks. I don't know if the camera's picking up that moisture, but uh, it's still nice and moist inside. Good stuff, let's give it a try. All right. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. The, the lemon is coming through. The olive oil and that marinade helped keep it moist on the outside. I'm gonna try cutting back my cook time next time to about six minutes. It's not overdone, but I think it could be cooked a little bit less and it would be better. It's still moist though, but I think it could be moister. Halibut's not a strong flavored fish. It's funny to say it doesn't have a fishy taste, but it, it really doesn't. Especially if you cut the dark meat off of it. And it just, oh man. This had skin on one side. I filleted it off before we marinated it. Chupacabra rub. It's good on everything. Fish, chicken, meat. Give it a try. If you haven't, if you've never tried it on fish, give it a try on fish. And this MSG free, Tastes just as good as the original Chupacabra to me. I can't tell any difference in the flavor profile, but for those of you who are MSG sensitive, here's an alternative for you. The Chupacabra has hints of garlic, onion, all the things that I like in a rub. It's gotta be my favorite rub of all time. I've tried a bunch of them. You've seen me try many of them here on the show. I'm not saying the others are not good. They may fit your flavor profile, so you try them and you decide what you like. But Chupacabra, it just fits my flavor profile. It's the rub for me until I find another one because I'm going to keep trying all of them when I can. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to grab another bite. And as we go to the photos at the end, all I got to say is thank you for watching. Remember that Butchula giveaway? The links are going to be here to go enter that. And... We'll catch y'all later on down the road. Thanks for tuning in to Rashley's Border Cue. Adios.